stroke or crawl. Thanks, Philip. All right, what's up, guys? I just wanted to break down exactly what I was doing to catch these fish. Um, I'm out here on Lopez Lake, and as you see, it's a pretty rocky lake. Like, the whole lake is pretty much rock. What's happening here, you see the rock is going to slope down, and out here in the middle, that's the back of a creek, there's going to be the river channel, and that's going to be straight sand. And where I'm catching these fish is right where the rock and the sand meet. And right now I'm fishing in 30 feet. I'm going to go check a couple other spots that I know they're in 30 feet, right where the rock meets the sand. And pretty much all I'm doing, my side imaging, with the down imaging, mapping, and sonar. And I'm using all of them to figure out exactly where these fish are at. Um, not going to lie, when I first got out here, we whooped them last week. And... As soon as I got here, I tried to do the exact same thing. I was fishing the same spot, fishing, same bait, but it's a whole week later. So fish have moved, uh, conditions have changed. So it's winter time, fish are cold, fish are cold blooded. Um, they're not gonna wanna move far. So I was either thinking that they would move out towards the main part of the lake, but since we had a warming trend, maybe I thought they would move back to the back of the creeks and start sunning or something like that. So I didn't really know exactly where to go so i first started out where i caught them last week and then i started moving out towards the main lake because um, i think we're going to get a cold snap soon and i think the fish want to be in the most stable stuff that they can so i was thinking that they were moving out and i was kind of right they were kind of in the same spots but they just moved out a little deeper so hopefully we can uh grab some fish 